hello, hello, hello. What is up? Happy Tuesday. Here we am. Just so you see me. I'm just finishing up my uh, breakfast sandwich. So I'll be back on screen in two minutes. Let a few people come in. Uh, hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. I don't understand what's up on my uh, laptop. I can go live on YouTube. I pulled the live up. I'm going. I was going live from my laptop. I went live from. I went on my phone to go look at it. I can see myself. So my camera is picking me up, but on my laptop, I don't see myself. So that doesn't make any sense. I don't. It's probably me. It's got to be the laptop. Good Tuesday. Still so windy here. Can't do anything. I hear you. I hear you, bro. It sucks. But we got good volume. We got a uh, just. I'll put the link down in a few minutes. Just hang out for a bit. Let me finish eating my breakfast. The size of these. This this is a small one, bro. I got them yesterday in the sim market. These are, that's a small one. The rest of them were double the size. Huge. Huge. Absolutely delicious, though. This little packet. This little packet. I don't know. There might have been. All right, what's that? Three, six, seven, eight, ten. There might have been twenty-five in there. Thirty tops. Fucking four bucks. It's got most of my jungle cut and trim nicely. Looks good. Nice. That's good. Still too windy, though, huh, you said? Good cup of joe. Very good cup of joe today. So I did find a new... I found a new um, Ensure Max Protein, the 30 gram. I was looking on the shelf yesterday, and I had a really... I don't, I don't think I saw you in the, uh, the afternoon stream. Did I, Billy? I don't think you came. Um, I don't remember. I sent a picture of my favorite Italian deli. It's in Massachusetts. I, I saw that, yeah. I saw that, Rocco. <clears throat> I gave a thumbs up. I saw it last night before I fell asleep. Um, another new flavor. Creamy peach. It's good. It is good. You can't go into it thinking it's going to be anything like a chocolate one or that, you know, it's still super creamy. But it's peach flavor. It's fucking good. And I got them uh, $3 off a four-pack. I didn't have the $5 coupons. I couldn't find them. I found $3 ones that Terry sent me a while back. They were going to expire in June. So. Napping. Napping. N-A-P-I-N. Napping. Napping or nipping. What's up, Rocco? What's going on, buddy? I know Billy will probably come up. Napping yesterday afternoon. Three guys took it all out of me. Oh, I hear you. I got you. Yes, you didn't hear how my day went, right? I had it fucked up. What a, what a crazy day, man. I saw you in the morning. I talked to you. I know that. <clears throat> There's the link. I just dropped it in the chat. Um, but I'll wait till you get up here. I'll tell you. Crazy, bro. Crazy, crazy afternoon. I almost wound up in a hospital, man. It's insane. I'm so happy to be home. And not laid in a hospital bed. But I was that close for that happening. Twice yesterday. Two times. Not once, but twice. Oh, boy. 
we got a pretty decent response yesterday from uh, some people. I got some emails and stuff that uh, they're liking the fact that I'm doing the stream yards instead of just straight through YouTube. So we're going to continue to do a stream yards. I'm not going to pay for it. But. Hello, Gerald. What's up, Billy? What's going on, buddy? Relaxing. I hear you, bro. Me too. I just got up and I'm going to tell you, to give you a minute and I'm going to tell you the story I had yesterday. It was fucking insane, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm actually very, very happy I'm in my own bed. I should have been in the hospital, but I'll tell you in a minute. It's a great day to be a guy going to CVS soon. Got a five, got a five minute for a rapid fire round. <laughs> All right, rapid fire round, Rocco. You ready? Usual suspects. We'll go that first. We got coffee. Good cup of joe. We get, this is a speed round. We we have berries left. About three. Done with that one. Next, brand new insure. Creamy peach. Bang it. Three dollars off. Very, very good. Uh, water. I'm not gonna pick up the thirteen bottles of medicine I have I take a day, just two. All right. See so you got you got it all. You got it all, Rocco. That's a speed round. <laughs> and thank the Lord that my eyes opened this morning. I'm happy about that. Gave me another chance. Coca Cola in the morning. Uh oh. You having a rough morning? Me or Rocco? I gotta get another I gotta get another device. Why? So I can, hear so I can see what's going on in chat. Oh, uh, you have another phone? Use cat's mm -hmm. phone. I'm looking for it. Uh, Hi, cat. She's out sweeping. Good morning. He's sweeping. Oh, I'm not spilling a coffee today, Rocco. Uh uh. That's a, that happened once in like ten years, man. That ain't happening again. I'll tell you what, I just I just bought this pack yesterday, Rocco. Go on. I ate a bunch of them last night because I was just I'll tell you the story and then I, I don't know. I think I needed some kind of vitamins or whatever, but so got off the live yesterday, called Pops, and I'm like, listen, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get ready, whatever. I was going to jump in the shower and get dressed, and I decided to just wash up or whatever. I was like, I'm just going to the store and to the cancer center to pick up meds. I'll take a shower when I get back. Mm. Long story short, I start getting all hot and shit. I start sweating. And this happened a couple other times since I've since my diagnosis, you know? So we kept, and that's what happened the day I fell in a supermarket. I told you that story, Billy. And I wound up passing out and wound up in a hospital for four days. So I felt that way, and I go, Dad, I'm just going to lay down for a little bit. I said, like, give me a little time, you know? He's like, all right, no problem. Take your time. I hope you're all right. So I lay down. Dude, I must have wiped. I could have probably filled up a fucking bath towel's worth of sweat. That's how bad I was sweating. It just started. It did not stop sweating. I was so hot, but then I got cold. So I'm like, what the fuck do I do? I'm like, okay, let me go change my change my clothes. So I changed my clothes into warm clothes. And I... uh I jumped under the blankets. I finally got warm and I felt better. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I called Pop. I said, give me like, you know, just let me know when you're on your way. We'll go to this. We'll go to the cancer center, get my meds, and then we'll go to the supermarket. <clears throat> Bro, I should have listened to myself the first time and not even went out of the house because I was fine. Went up to the cancer center, said hi to my little sweetheart at the desk, you know, told her she was beautiful. Really nice lady. Went in, got my meds, left in and out, less than five minutes. Beautiful. Get in the car. It's gorgeous out. Sun's out. It's like 50 degrees. I'm like, you know what? Take my sweatshirt off. It was nice. I just had a t-shirt on. On our way to the supermarket. Get to the supermarket. Go inside. Say hi to my friend. You know, I got to know all of them. So I just say hi. I'm going to make this really quick and short so it's not painful. But fine. Perfectly fine. Doing my shopping. I'm walking around. Having a good time. Whistling. Fucking. I'm, I'm great, dude. I'm completely. I felt great for the first time in forever, right? I get all the way to the back where the uh, coffee, like the, the creamer is and the milk, you know, so it started getting a little chilly back there, Billy. You know what I mean? Like, well, I don't yes, know. I, know. I mean, I, I, you know, even even at 50 degrees outside, it's still not nice out and I'm sick anyway. So that cold hit me and it didn't really bother me, but I felt it. You know, it was, it was like a little fucking flick in the back of my head. Like, all right, it's a little chilly, man. You know, get through here and get done, you know, if you don't get sick. About two get, minutes, man. it took you into a chill. Dude. I fucking went from getting the milk, grabbed two loaves of bread, my Taylor ham. I got to the end of that aisle, and I'm like, okay, this is exactly how I felt when I was home earlier. What the fuck am I going to do? 
I came around that corner. Some lady saw me. She goes, are you okay? She's like, you're like listening with sweat. Are you okay? I'm like, um, I'm fine. Because you tell them no, then they're going to go get a manager. And next thing you know, I'm in a fucking ambulance. And I didn't want that. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I'm fine. All right, have a good day. Bye. I just kept going. I'll think my mind, Billy, this is the funny part. And I, I had everybody laughing yesterday. <laughs> on all this shit going on, I'm sweating and I feel like shit. I do want to forget my ice cream. So that's around the next. Now that's around the next bend. So I'm like, I need my sliced cheese for my Taylor ham, and I need my fucking ice cream. I'm not leaving here without it. So I went and I go got it, and I said, you know what? Just get to the counter. You'll be okay. I get up to the counter. On the way there, I see I see my friend Graziella. I'm like, I'm like, can I go sit down? Is there somewhere I can sit? She's like, I have a bench over there by the window. Um, she's like, just give me your basket. Are you okay? I said, I don't know. I said, I'm not sure. I, said, I think I need to sit down. And. I sat down and the fucking sun was beaming in so hard and I was still hot at that time, like really hot. I'm like, can you please do me a favor and just shut the blind, please? I said, I'm fucking, and give me some paper towels. Bro, I went through a half a roll of paper towels, Billy, wiping my face. I mean, a half a roll of paper, my shirt was soaked. I had one of those light, like uh, Fruit of the Loom, you know, regular t-shirts. I mean, soaked with, with a matter of 10, 15 minutes. And I just kept white and sweat, white and sweat, white and sweat. Like, what the fuck? I'm like, Jer, just get your bearings around you because if this happens like last time, they're going to stick you in a fucking box and stick you in that fucking in, in an ambulance. And I don't want it. I'm not doing it. I said, fuck that, man. I'm not doing it. Um, I just sat there and I was like trying to just breathe, breathe, breathe. Kept waiting, wiping sweat, wiping sweat. I said, where's my where's, where's my dad? My dad was online. So he comes walking over. He sees me sitting on the bench. He's like, he gave me a like, oh, you're done? I'm like, no. I'm like, dad, come here, come here. So I'm like, that I'll feel good, man. He goes, all right, I know what to do. He went to my cart, and he grabbed me an insure. And he goes, here, drink this. And my friend Graziella, who works there, she went and got me a water. So I'm drinking water and insure. Boom, boom, I'm pounding these things, wiping my face with sweat. Shirt so My dad's getting worried. I'm like, listen, don't worry. I'll be okay. So I guess because it happened a couple times before, Billy, that I, I was able to almost talk myself out of it, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But I looked over to my right. Now, the door the, to my left, the door started opening. And this is how it happened the last time. The door opened. It was a lot colder then. So now I'm full of sweat. My clothes are fucking soaked. I had sweatpants on. Now the door's opening because people are coming in or going out. And here comes the cold. Oh, my God, dude. I, I went from sweating, felt like I was in the Caribbean, to fucking I was in Alaska, dude. Freezing. And I'm like, damn, this fucking sucks, you know? Like, this is terrible. I don't want to go to the hospital. At any point in that time, did I feel like I was going to pass out? No. But I started feeling that way like I felt last time. So I said, you know what? I looked to my right, and it was a pile of um, – I guess they just started selling it. I moved it there by the other window. The sun was beaming in there. So I'm like, now I want the sun again, but I need to get away from the fucking door because now I'm getting cold. So my dad's like, you know what? Go sit over there. I think it's firewood or whatever. Just go sit on the fucking bags. I'm like, okay. I go sit over there, throw up in the thing. You know, the sun's beaming in, and I just stood there for like five minutes, man. Wiping sweat, wiping sweat. I'm like, no, fuck, I'm cold and I'm sweating. I'm like, this is fucking crazy. My dad, you know, my dad's getting worried. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, dude, just, dad, I love you, but just back up for a minute. You know, I need, I just need my space for a minute. Give me a second. Let me get through this. And uh, he's like, are you sure? He's like, come on, I'll go, get, I'll go get the car and I'll take you to the hospital if you need to go. I'm like, just stop. Back it up, bro. Love you. Back it up. You know, I told everybody, just leave me be for five minutes. I look to my right. There's this little fucking kid in a, in a shopping, you know, and uh, you know, a little cart. You know, the kid was like two. His mom, she's I could hear her talking to her her friend with her. They were talking in Polish, and uh, the little kid staring at me hard, dude, like bugging me out, dude. I'm like, I, I need to either move or this kid needs to stop staring at me. As soon as I'm thinking that in my head, I look over to him, dude. He just starts bursting out laughing. Ah! He starts fucking going nuts, dude. I went from feeling like shit to almost feeling good again. I'm like, fucking weird is that, bro? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I look at the kid. I'm waving. I'm like, hey, buddy. You know, I'm like, hey, the, the mom is like, you okay? You're like, you're broken. You know, in English. She's like, you okay? I said, no, not really. I said, but, you know, I'll be okay. So I got up and I was able. That was the big key for me. I, I, the last time I tried to get up is when I fucking went straight down. So I said, let me get up on my own. And if I can not, if I don't go to the ground, then I think I'm going to be okay. So I got up, turned towards the window. There was a little sill. I put my arms like that, and the sun was beaming in. It warmed me up nice. I stood there. I drank the rest of the water, the rest of the insurer, and I was like, you know what? Let me get the fuck out of here. My dad brought the shit outside. My, I gave my fucking wallet to the girl. I've known her my whole life. I went to high school with her. She's, I trust her with it. I said, here. She's like, do you want me to ring up your groceries? I'm like, here. Here's my fucking wallet. My debit card's in there. My 
shop right cards in there. Do what you got to do. Thank you. She went and rang everything up for me. Um, actually got me more discounts. I didn't even realize that. She did. Um, my dad put the shit in the car. He pulled the car around and uh, I went, got the car and came home and I was fine. Fine. <laughs> Made a Taylor ham and cheese sandwich. Went, went live and told everybody the same exact story I just told you and I was fine the rest of the night. That's just, crazy. I, just I get that like weird. at night. I get weird. that at night. That sweat, the whole bed sweat, I'm sweat, my hair is wet and sweat. Yep. Get up that's, and that's cold. And take a piss. Yeah, and that's cold. So, I'm so cold I can't even I can't even function. That's called my sweats. And my, my oncologist told me that that's gonna happen. That happened in the beginning. Um, when I was living in the other spot and I was getting night sweats almost every night. I'm like I would wake up, like you said, in a full sweat. Everything's fucking soaked. Go change my clothes, lay back down. Twenty minutes later, I'm freezing like like a fucking abominable snowman under the blankets. And then it started again, and then I would be able to fall asleep. And that happened a lot. And then that stopped. And then this happened, what happened to me yesterday in my house and in the store it happened to me in my old apartment once by myself. It happened in my mom's house one time when I was over there doing laundry. That was about three weeks ago. I, I was already moved here. If you guys remember, I was going to do laundry for the first time or whatever. And um, I was sitting in the, in the dining room having a cup of coffee with my mom and dad, just bullshitting, and that happened again. Not as severe. But, um, I, you know, they did test on me that time I went to the hospital. They have no answer for it. They have no yeah. idea what it could be. It's it's it's. I think, to me, I'm just going to say in my brain to, to make myself feel better that it just has something to do with my sickness. I don't know, because they had no answer. They fucking had me in there for four and a half days on all these meds. I don't know. Yesterday was the first day I did not take my adlonapine, my blood pressure medicine. Is that it? I don't think so, because I had my meds last time. You know what I mean? So it's like you try to, you try to find the little things of why it would happen. Can't figure it out. It, it, it's scary, man. What if I fucking fell while I was going to get the milk or something? Or, or you know, because most of the time you're going to fall, you're going to fall forward. So your cart goes flying forward. What if there was a little kid and I hit a fucking kid or something? You know what I mean? That's the shit that scares me. You know, I don't want to hurt anybody else. I'm just glad I got through it. Or call Sal. Say that again? If you fall down in a grocery store, call Sal. <laughs> That's a good one. I was just watching some videos yesterday. I love that show. Um, but um, yeah, bro, it's scary, man. Scary situation. But but lesson learned to me: if if I ever feel that way again in my house, I'm not going out that day. I'm just gonna tell Dad, listen, we'll go tomorrow. But I needed my medicine, and I needed I needed shit for my house. I had no water. I'm I'm like I'm not drinking tap water. I had no milk. I had no bread. I had, like, dude, I need I need shit. I need to get out of the house. I need to go. You know. And I said, like I said last night in the live, I was like, we're men. We, we fucking want to be invincible like Superman all the time. But you know what? We're not. You know, it's, it's times like that when you actually see it yourself that, you know what? Listen, we're not invincible. You know, like, I know I'm not strong. You know, I'm not, I'm not as strong as I used to be just because I'm sick with cancer. But when shit like that happens, I'm like, damn, bro. I'm really fucking vulnerable, man. It's, it's scary. I very, very when scary. I first came out of hospital, I couldn't even pick up a five-gallon bucket of water. Now, yeah. And I was going to work. Wow. Couldn't pick up a five gallon bucket of water. That's crazy. I don't even know if I could lift a five gallon bucket of water now. I bet mean, I probably could, but be, you know, I don't know how far I'd be able to carry it. I carry. I carried a case of water. Hey, Mary. Good morning. Uh, case of water downstairs. You know, my dad helped me bring the shit down. He actually stayed for a little while with me. He's like, I'm not leaving until you tell me you're 100 percent okay. I was like, all right. I ended up making a pot of coffee. We sat and bullshitted for a little bit. I started getting hot. And he was like, are you all right? I'm like, I think it's just because I have a sweatshirt on and I'm just drinking a hot coffee. And it was hot in the apartment. But I was fine the rest of the night. And just crazy, man. I don't, I don't fucking get it. Yeah, that Scary. Sweat chill, that sweat and chill thing sucks. It's really sucks. And, and it's, you know, like I said, it happened to me, you know, with the night sweats. I get it. Okay, that's different. You're home in your bed. You know what I mean? If it's just nice sweats, fine. You change, in a, change three times, go back to sleep, and stop your whining. But when you're in a fucking supermarket like I did last time, and I fucking stood up, saying I know I'm in the back of an ambulance, that's scary, man. You black out and you don't even know it? That's scary. That's a little different. That's a little, in, in, in your house, it happening in your house is one thing, but happening outside. I've yeah. never, never got cold outside. You know, I, I've stepped outside of my door and went outside to do something and got that cold like that, and Whew. I mm -hmm. know all about it. Yeah, man. The sucks. night sweats is another thing. That night sweats was horrible. 
It's hard. Well, to call it the meat. I used to call it the meat sweats. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it, it's it's horrible, but you know what? It's almost like you know if you go change your clothes, you know, get warm, get under the blankets, and you feel you're gonna doze off, and you go back to sleep, and you feel fine. This this other shit is different than that. You know, it, it's night sweats. People get them without being sick. It just happens for some reason to some people. I don't know why. This is has it's something else, but they can't figure it out. So I'm going to tell my doctor when I go on Friday for the test. I'm going to say, listen, well, I'm not going to see him, but I'm going to tr- ask for another doctor because I'm going to the main hospital. My my tests are in the uh, radiology in the main hospital across the street. So I won't see my cancer doctor, but I'll see him the following Friday. So if any, you know, if it happens again in between an episode, I'll let him know. But I'm just I I, I want to talk to a doctor when I'm there Friday anyway, just to say, listen, you know, do, do you ever hear of this? You know what I mean? Is there something? That I could take. I don't know. They last what I that happened last time in a supermarket. And um, thank you, Mary. Yeah, I'm feeling a little better today. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, they had me hooked up EKGs, all these wires. They wouldn't let me take them off. Sticky things all over my chest, my back, my fucking all these tests, fucking oxygen level. I'm like, dude, I, I can't do that again, man. That was. I'll tell you what. I was in the hospital for 11 days when I first got sick, and I had. Um, needles this long, four of them, eight-inch needles into my fucking rib cage because they had to do a, um, what do you call that, uh, biopsy. That fucking hurt so much, but not as bad as fucking going there for four days and then fucking sticking wires all over you and not having answers and go. we're going to go send you for a brain scan. We're going to go check your heart. And then at the end of it, fucking not having an answer. I'd rather get stuck with 10-inch needles into my rib cage. At least I fucking gonna get an answer. You know what I mean? <clears throat> all, them heart monitor, all them heart monitors they hooked up to me. You know all that eight or nine wires in the little yeah. box mm-hmm. I, on the weekend. I took every one of them goddamn things off. Every one of them. <laughs> Never a word said. Never a word. Come Monday. Oh, we're not getting. We're not getting. Uh, uh, um, a uh, a reading from your, oh, yeah. your heart monitor. I said, well, because I took it off. And nobody knew about it till Monday. Wow. See, I tried taking for mine, like, because they had little clips too. Like, they'll stick to you, but then they have little clips. You can, I would get up to go to the bathroom and I didn't want to lug the whole fucking everything over to the other machine. So I was like, you know what? I'll just unclip them and I'll clip them back. I took them off. I came back to the bed. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, man. They're not going to know. Dude, five fucking seconds later, beep, beep, beep. Things are beeping. <laughs> fucking girls coming in. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm guilty. I took them off. I'm sorry. It's that like, was the hard time. Yeah. That was yeah. the heart monitor with the little box, right? Yep. She's like, can you please yeah. leave it on for the day, please? I'm begging you. You know, like, I, they just need to, like, get a, tw- you know, whatever, 12-hour reading. Like, please. I'm like, okay. And I fucking dealt with it. I'm like, fucking five they seconds. They it off on Friday night. And they won't know till Monday. I wonder why. I wonder how I, they don't know. I don't know. I, that was weird, though. Yeah. I, I I didn't. They didn't find out until Monday morning. I took it off on Friday night. I was tired of getting tangled up in it. And you were in the hospital. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and those nurses were terrible on the weekend. They weren't doing their job at all. Uh, I don't know. I was pretty sick, and they were there. They were. They said we're going to just let you sleep in there. Wow. And they, they did. I have to say that last time I was in there, they let me sleep. The first few times I was in the hospital, there was no sleeping. Oh, uh, there's no there such no thing sleep. as sleeping. No such thing as sleeping in the hospital. They say the hospital is the best place to be when you're sick. No, it's not. I'm sorry to say. I mean, it is because you can get the care you need. But if you think you're going to go there and get rest, impossibility. You know where I got the most rest? On the third floor, it was called the observation level. And they had, like, they they stuck me in a room and it had doors that actually shut, like glass doors that shut closed, completely closed. And then the full eight, you know, the full curtains and everything. Bro, that first day I was in there, I was, I just, oh, you're going to be out of here by seven o'clock. My blood pressure was like fucking 280 over 190 or something. You're not going anywhere, sir. Oh, okay. You ain't going nowhere. I was like, wonderful. <laughs> I'm like, I just need some sleep. I'm like, I'm exhausted. They do, All they do is come in every fucking hour. They come, oh, we're going to give you your meds. We're going to give you this. We're going to give you that. We're going to give you blood pressure. It, it's, it's, it's not a place to get rest. So I finally figured out how to close that fucking oh, door. I'm like, I'm like, all I need is a bar or something to put on my side. I said, but you know what? No, nope, me. I'll fall asleep. My fucking machines will be going off. I'm fucking dying, and they won't be able to get in. So I'm like, I can't do that. I can't lock them out. <laughs> but it would be the only way I would have got sleep. But that was the only place it was quiet. And when I was on the seventh floor for that 11 days, that was like in a hotel. It was the place with the fucking 70-inch TVs, 
the best food I've ever had in a hospital. The nurses were all great to me. And at night, they left you alone. Alone. Yeah. Alone. Yeah. Said, listen, come 6 o'clock, the little Chinese lady's coming in. I need to take your blood. Okay, no problem. Four o'clock here. Four but give me, here. give me five, six hours so I can shut my eyes and sleep and get some rest. Otherwise, after that, it's over. It's over. There's just noise. There's beeping. There's people fucking screaming and yelling. It's just like... Uh, you not smell a, the coffee? Huh? And you could smell the coffee brewing? Yeah. Well, no. They had, I couldn't eat nothing. They didn't let me eat nothing for... I didn't eat nothing at home this last time I was in there for about 10 days. Wow. Then I went in there and they put me on a, on a, on a liquid diet and I really didn't eat nothing in there for another seven. Yeah. yeah. So I was, I was dwindling away. The, yeah. That's, I think that's where I lost a lot of my weight too. I wasn't eating in my old apartment. Like I said, bad situation there. Not to go over that again. I don't want to, but when I went in the 11 days, I was probably down to like 168 from 260. Not good. I was I was in bad shape, and I wasn't eating properly, and so they were concerned about letting me eat solid food. All I kept saying is, "I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry." Well, your test is that your doctor has you on a liquid diet. So you know what I was eating it was just chicken broth. It was the only yeah. thing that I was able to hold down because I was throwing everything up too at that time. I wasn't able to hold anything down. I would I would I, eat, I would I say give me broth, yeah. Italian ice. Oh, okay, yeah. They wouldn't allow me to have anything else, man. No, no fucking juice, milk, nothing. You're on clears. I think I was only allowed to have ice chips. I wasn't even allowed to have water. Ice chips. Yeah, they give me ice. I'm allowed to have ice chips. I was like, That's you know so what? Dry. I said, you know what? I'm gonna put the heat on, and I'm gonna go put my water on top of that. Let the mice melt, and then I'll have water. Oh, I got you. <laughs> the lady's like, yeah, you're funny. <laughs> I'm like, I could have broth. Which is made from water and bouillon, so I can have fucking water. Don't lie to me. It's so stupid. I don't know why they say that shit. But you know, you don't want to start off your 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 first day like that with the nurses, because then they treat you like shit later. So I tried to be as nice as I could to them, considering how sick I was. And for the most part, when I left there after eleven days, I had nurses coming up to that room, going, "We're gonna miss you," and I was like, "Wow." You're gonna miss me. In the hospital is not be a prick, but can be very, very nice to the nurses and the doctors, and they'll take care of you. Yep. Kathy's brother would go to the hospital, and he was really nasty and mean, and mm -hmm. they threw his ass out of the hospital. Yeah, yeah, they they have they can do that. I mean, unfortunately, they, they shouldn't be allowed to, but they can. Yeah. You know, go to county. Yeah. So I mean, I I had a you know there was a couple days. Don't get me wrong, where I was, I, well, I wasn't in the fucking mood. You know, and then they, they were an hour late on my meds. You know, when you're on meds, especially pain meds, and you're in a lot of pain, and you're laying there, and you want to sleep, you want your fucking meds when they when they're supposed to give them to you. Not an hour and a half later. So I had this one lady. She was she was an overnight nurse, and she was probably listen. I talked to Jesus about this many times, and I said, listen, forgive me because I should not have been as nasty as I was. But she initiated it. She was nasty first, and doesn't make it right. I should have just. That would it better, but I'm the one. I, I said to her, I said, "I'm the one laying here in a hospital bed with fucking stage four cancer. I mean, you're supposed to be taking care of me, you know. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm not in the best of moods, I apologize, but I'm really sick. So, whatever. And to be honest. At the end of those eleven days, she was one of them that came in and said, I, you know, we're gonna miss you. You know, we wound up getting past that moment, and and uh, I apologized to her, and you know, because I was pissed. I was like, you know." I'm laying here. I want my medicine. You know, I want my fucking doctor. I asked to speak to my oncologist fucking for four days now. And, and he's never come here. I said, please get the message to him. I, I, I need to get off this clear shit diet. I need to figure out why I, I'm throwing up everything. Like, it just, not that they don't care, but sometimes they just, they listen to what the, the, here's, oh, I got to start over. Here's the problem. You go in, you don't see your doctor. You see whoever's on charge at that time. And they don't know yeah. you. Okay. Yeah, so they all come in, and they're all like, oh, hi, what's your name? I'm like, you don't know me? You have my chart right in front of you. You don't know why I'm here? Well, we're just asking you. Well, then read the paper. And that's how it starts out. Like, when you're not in the mood and you don't feel good, that's the last thing you want to hear. You know, 10 people in a row coming in, they all don't know who you are? Come on. It's, I, I don't know. I told, yeah. When I didn't feel really, really good, and I didn't want to talk to him, and I didn't know an answer, I told him, look on a computer. It's all right there. Yeah, exactly. It is all right there, right, right at, right at their fingertips. Yep, sure thing.
And it's like the next one comes in. Why are you here? I said to him, I said, why are you here? You don't know why I'm here? Then why are you in here fucking talking to me? Come on, are you kidding me? And that's that's how it start out. That's how the, you know they get a little attitude. You know, it's fucking three in the morning. But I'm like, you're bothering me at three in the fucking morning. What the fuck? But like I said, in the end, it was probably the best day I ever had in the hospital. I mean, under this situation, I had a couple of nurses, like I said, two young girls that were, I mean, changed my life, touched my heart in a, in a way that you don't find whatever regular people. Like they actually showed that they cared and they loved their job. And did I tell you about the story of the guy I met when I was in that observation room level or no? The nurse? I don't remember. I don't <laughs> think so about meeting nobody in the hospital. All right. Let me let me go get the rest of my coffee. I'll be right back and then I'll tell you. Hold on. down on my cup, but I forgot to put milk in my coffee. Oh, well. <laughs> How about go back again? There's Tina. Hi, Tina. Good morning, sweetheart. Uh, yeah, she's heard this story before. I don't think Mary has. So I was in that observation. That's when I fell in the um, in the, in the supermarket that last time. That was months month ago. A month and a half. Right before I moved in here. So that was about two months. Somewhere in that ballpark. Anywho. Um, so that all happened, uh, long story short from that, when, when I was in the ambulance and I came like, not Cape two, but you know, when you start realizing, you know, what the fuck's going on, the guy was from, uh, you don't know the town, but right there, Wallington, he was, he was the, uh, EMT guy. And I'm like, listen, you know, when I get there, please let them know that I'm a cancer patient. He's like, okay, no problem. So I didn't realize this ever in my life that they have an ER emergency room and an emergency room for cancer patients. I didn't know that. So they, they they put you right into a room instead of putting you in the hallway for twelve hours, like they did the first time when I went in. So long because story short, really what's that? That's because you're really sick. They do that. They did that to me the last time I was in there. They put you in a room like that. Yeah, so they put me right in the room. Mm -hmm. But like I said, the first time I went in, you know, in December, I was in a hallway for thirteen hours before I got a little room, and then oh. they brought me upstairs to that beautiful seventh floor. But yeah, they, they didn't care then. Anyhow, long story short, um, they sent me up to the observation room, and I had this uh, young Filipino girl. Most of the nurses on that floor, for some reason, they were Filipino, and they're beautiful, beautiful people. Really, she was awesome. I got she she was my nurse out of the four and a half days I was there. I think she was like three days, and then that one lady, I said that she was a little midnight. But anyhow, well, very long story short, this guy comes into my room. He goes, oh, "I'm going to be your nurse this morning." Um, my name is uh, Ayad. Ayad. I I forgot how you spell it. Anyway, um, white hair, like whitish hair. Younger guy looks younger than me, but you know, I guess some people get that salt and pepper hair when they're younger. Started talking to me and pulls up a chair, sits right next to me. Like, what the? What? I'm like, are you a chaplain? He goes, no, I'm just going to be a nurse, but I just want to, I just want to sit here and talk to you for a few minutes. I'm like, oh, okay. So he's like, you know, tells me my, he tells me my name, you know, he's like, I know your name is Gerald, blah, blah. I'm like, very professional, first of all, right? Hold on. Sorry to interrupt, but do you need to take your medicine? I already took it to you. Thank you. I took it right before I came on. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, all right. So he wanted to explain to me that they wanted to do a, um, a full head um, I don't know if it was MRI or CT scan. I don't remember, but like a total brain scan and a full body with the contrast, almost like what I'm getting Friday, but it was more for like my heart and stuff. Like I told you, like that was when I fell in a, in a supermarket and I was like, no, they told me I was going to go home. Dude, I started bugging out, dude. I'm like, this is bullshit. I'm like, they told me I was going home today. Why do I have to stay now? 
Well, because your blood pressure was fucking... I could exaggerate. It was very, very high, but I don't know, 280 over fucking two something. I don't know. It was astronomical numbers. He goes, and they're very scary. I said, well, I'm telling you right now, you can get up and go out and do, do your job. I was nasty. I said, but I am not going. And to be honest with you, if I keep getting bothered, I'm going to sign myself out because that is also my fucking right. They told me I'm going home. I'm going to fuck home. Okay. Walks out. I don't know if it was God, intuition. Don't know what it was. I stood in there for about two, three hours. Nobody came in. Nobody bothered me whatsoever. They just left me alone. I got up. I opened my door. I went out there and I said, excuse me, uh, can you come here for a second? He goes, yeah. Dude, this dude came in. Now, my parents were on their way to come visit me. So they got there almost the same time. Maybe five, ten minutes after this conversation started, they showed up. Big, big part of this thing. Very long story short, Billy, and whoever else is listening in the chat. Tina's heard the story. You ready? Uh, Mary, whoever else. Um, this dude, I don't know if it's because he loved his job so much or just cared about people that much, but he sat there and talked to me and my family for about 45 minutes. Told, told me how much my life is important, how my parents are important. We were all crying. Um, just someone that touched my heart and my soul so deep that I hope I get to see this gentleman again somewhere down the line. Like, he just changed my life. And my parents wound up leaving, I don't know, an hour later. I laid there in bed, and I thought about this. I prayed to God, and I was like, you know what, man? Jerry, fucking step up, man. Do the right thing. This guy's right. What happens if they send me home and I'm home for fucking half an hour and something happens and I die in my bed and it's because I didn't want to go get this test. You know what I mean? So I was like, you know, I, I stuck my head out there. I'm like, yeah, come here, bro. And I'm like, he's like, what's up? I said, do me a favor. Um, make me an appointment for those tests. I'll go. I said, I don't care what time it is. If it's one in the morning, I don't care, whatever. I said, you know, you changed my, my mind about it. You know what this, did, this guy did? He's a nurse. Doesn't know me from my own wall. Dude came in, grabbed me, and gave me a hug so fucking tight. And he goes, thank you, man. He goes, you're not going to regret it. He goes, I'm just here to help. And that dude, I'm telling you, for the next couple of days, changed my life and changed my thinking about life. And what's crazy is he goes, oh, I work between here and the ER. He goes, so I might not be able to see you the next couple of days. He's like, but I'll try to run up if I can. So he was working down, I think, the next day down the ER. And... Dude, he came up just to see me, just to see how I was doing, how the test went. You know, he came in, you know, you know, what's up, bro? You know, like, we just like, we knew each other for 10 fucking years, bro. Crazy. Just, it's, it's hard to explain it in words. It might not, it's not an exciting story, but it's when someone touches your heart like that and, 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 you understand what I'm saying, Billy? I don't, I don't know how to explain it 100%, but he changed my life. Let's put it to you that way. So a couple days go by, whatever. He actually came to see me the night before I got, discharge the next day and uh i said listen can i have your number he's like yo give me your number whatever we'll stay in contact and i want to make sure you do it okay uh we've talked once since i was in the hospital but so i get discharged the following day at around 5 30 6 o'clock so i called my dad he's like i'll come pick you up just you know have him bring you down in the wheelchair be downstairs by the front gate i'm like okay dude i'm sitting in a wheelchair and who comes fucking walking by that dude how fucking crazy is that? It's like God meant us to bump into each other again. He just so happened to be going there, him and his wife, as students also, on top of working there, to become actual doctors. And that night, we just happened to be their night to go there for their class. And I, and I, and I yelled to him, like, yeah. And he looked up, like, he didn't see me at first. And I'm like, here, wheelchair. He's like, bro. He's, I'm like, I couldn't even say it. He said it. He goes, how fucking crazy is that? That we bumped into each other like that, like I was like, I don't know. That's it's like fate. It's like God made us cross cross paths, man. It's, it's crazy. Like I said to anybody else, it's not probably the most exciting fucking story, but it was something that changed my life completely. Uh, awesome guy. Nobody come to see me in there except the nurses and a doctor and uh, some guy with a dog. They said the dog sat on my bed for five minutes and they left. And that was it. Oh, okay. yeah. That sucks. I mean, like I said, the only my sister came down. She brought my nephews when I was in the, the first time in eleven days. Um, they were all worried about me. But then that four days, my my parents came once. I think 
And then, you know, it wasn't it. more important was the first time I was there for people to come in and stuff. But uh, hold on one second. My dad's texting me. So I told you my, my medicine I take in blood pressure is called amlodipine. But my dad does the talk to text. So this is what my text says. Good morning, son. How are you doing today? Let me know if you want. I can go to CVS and pick up your pick up your hand load of pain. <laughs> That's how I guess the sound, in, you know, the when you talk text, when he said amlodipine, it said hand load of pain. And then bring it to you at your house. <laughs> What's up, Zigzag? That's fucking hilarious. Talk to Texas crazy. It, it went from amlodipine to hand load of pain. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I had a hard time saying clamors. Yeah. It says, it says clamors just fine. It does. I noticed that. You and Mike, and Mark too. Same thing. He always calls me clamors. They won. I don't know why, but he does. All right. He doesn't need that to would, go. I mean, can my dad pick up the script for me? Can he do that? That was because when uh, we first met you, me and uh, Mark there on your live when you was fishing there along the river, mm -hmm. I was trying to say clamors, but the damn talk to text wouldn't do it. It just kept on saying clamors instead of clamors. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm I'm sure you remember that. Yeah. All right. I told him live, so he'll probably pop in. But he, my dad can actually go pick up a script for me. Use all your lady friends. There's Phil. Billy. Billy, you hear me or no? I hear you. Can my dad pick up a script for me? I don't think so. We have the same name. Yeah. Can Can somebody else pick up a script for you? Yeah. Yes. My wife says yes. Oh, okay. As long as you have the name and birth date. Oh, okay. Then he should have that. Yo, show me your face, homeboy, in the basement. Turn your camera on for a second, D-Man. D-Man, turn on your camera, bro. Right. I see that ugly ass face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up, man? What up, homie? What's going on? Let me say hello to uh, hello. Flo. Hi, Flo Beck. How are you? Zigzag, hello. I love hearing about it. Thank you, Tina. Mary Bruce, if you call and tell them. I think because we have the same name, but I think I'm just going to take a ride with him anyway, just to get out and get a little fresh air for a little bit. I want to stop actually. If he, um, I got to go pick up some. Uh, Pop. Uh, um, what'd you say? Pot? Pop. Pop? Oh, Pop's here. Pop. Oh, what's, what's up, Papa? Um, D man, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, I need to go. No, I need to pick up some um, Tylenol PMs. I'm almost out. So I, I need that to go to sleep. So. So I do want to go. I just want to get some fresh air, but I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Does well, Tylenol PM make your legs ache at night? Not that I've noticed, no. Not yet. No. I just actually found my bottle of... Um, I have these... Hold on. Hold on. Hi, everybody. Hi, Tina. Hi, Zigzag. Hi, Throwback. Oh, you guys. Hi, Pops. Uh, what's up, D-Man? How are you, brother? I'm doing good, man. I did good, hear, good. I'm sorry about not coming on like yesterday, bro. Okay. That's why I came up today, man, to chill with you guys. I had to go Appreciate live it. after you do. So I found these. I bought these when I first got out of the hospital. Melatonin gummies. Because they were giving me melatonin in the hospital. They wouldn't give me anything um, with diphenhydramine in it. Which is, you know, like Benadryl. They wouldn't give me anything in the hospital, so they wouldn't give me PMs. So they gave me melatonin. And believe it or not, it helped. And I was taking these when I got home. And then um, I asked my oncologist, I'm like, is it okay if I take um, uh, PMs? And he goes, you can. He's like, just don't take the uh, ibuprofen one. He goes, it's no good for your for your kidneys. He's like, but be careful with the acetaminophen ones too, because they're no good for you. He's like, everything's bad. You know? But these are 10 milligram um, per gummy. So they got you taking it. Taking what? Oh, okay. Taking what, D-Man? Shoot, as long as it works, man. As long as as long as it's helping you. I mean, for you and everything. I mean. <laughs> I saw I saw you peeking in there. <laughs> but what do you say? What do you mean, um, D-Man? They got me taking what? I said if if the gummies are helping. 
Oh well, they're just it's just it's just melatonin. It's not a it's not a friggin' right. drugs or not. No, no, no. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know what I might do actually? I think I still have like a night or two of PMs. I think I'm going to buy them anyway, or just I don't know. I have to have them because if I can't sleep, um, I'm I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to try taking these tonight, just to see. I think he, I think he told me to take uh, what the hell did I say? I'm I'm night, two gummies per day. 30 minutes before bedtime. I think I was taking two or three. And um, I actually slept. I remember telling my dad, he asked me, hey, Battle Sunshine. How are you, Becca? I'll be right back to jump on and yep. Okay. Bring a quahog uh, shovel. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you to the nine people that are here. I appreciate it. I don't know how many thumbs up I got. It doesn't show you that on uh, StreamYard. Says 11 over here. Oh, good. Excellent. Just so much more that um, StreamYard could do to make the platform better, dude. I mean, I have so much things that could I could suggest to StreamYard to make it better, bro. It's not bad, though. StreamYard is pretty cool. It's not I like bad. It. No, no, I not, do at like it. not at yeah. all. Not at all. I'm yeah. not saying it's bad. I'm just saying there's there's things that I've learned <laughs> about StreamYard that they could do to make it better. You know, like by putting likes on StreamYard where you can see how many likes you got. You know. Uh huh. That's true. That's one thing I would I would really like. But you know what? So many years we said when StreamYard first came out, oh, it doesn't show you if you're a mod. Now now it does in now the chat. It does, yeah, yeah exactly. so that's something they worked on. I mean, don't get me wrong. They they hear feedback. You know, I'm sure there's somebody from StreamYard right here. Too. What's that? They can they can move that heart too. Well, that's oh, on the YouTube heart. side. No, 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 no. Hold on. Now with the heart, now if you go through um YouTube, you can take that heart out. You can take it off. There's a there's a thing in there, there's a thing in there where it allows you to take that heart out. If you really? go through the if you go through the Facebook app or the YouTube app, when before you go live, there's a place where you can take that heart off. I hmm. found it the other day, and wow, people yeah. are people. Somebody was somebody was crying and bitching about why would you want to do that? That's an interaction. Why would you want to take an interaction away? Because it sucks. It's in they a way. They have it in the wrong spot. You can't read now, the fucking, you can't read the the top, right. Yeah, you if they would have put it up at the top on the right corner, yeah. I would have been fine yeah. with that. But yep. no, they yeah. stuck it in the worst spot they could ever stick it in is down on the bottom. Anywhere on the bottom sucks. Yep. Yep. Hey, Flowback, thank you. Yes, I did take my medicine. Thank you so much. Even if we can get them to move it up out of the way from down there, that's fine. But they got a spot where you can completely take it off. Right. I didn't know that. I knew when Billy said that it's not a it's not a StreamYard thing. That's on YouTube side. Yeah, that's, that. that's YouTube. Yeah, that's YouTube. I, I'm just happy and, and and pretty shocked that I was able to figure out how to get this channel on StreamYard. I hit the one button, and next thing you know, it was like you can go live from uh, Adventures and Stories with Fishing. I was like, whoa, yeah, fucking a right. I'm not freaking like computer savvy. That by a surprise, yeah, you know? we find out things we never knew we could find out. That's true. I don't even know how I did it. So just to say, if somebody else came to me with a problem, I wouldn't know how to explain it. I don't know what I did. I hit something, you and next thing you know is what? You didn't add your YouTube to the StreamYard uh, platform? I you did, but then it. Some, it was something with the emails. Because I remember when I um, – all right, Dad. Um, I remember when I first started Adventures and Stories with Fisher Proclaimers, which was just Fisher Proclaimers. When I started that over a year and a half ago, I, you have to have a separate email from – I have outdoors for life. So they can't have the same email. You know, you can't do that. So you have to have separate emails for separate channels. So, and I didn't remember what I put, but I remember one of them was Yahoo and one of them was Gmail. I'm like, okay. Right. So every time, every single time I was trying to get this channel on StreamYard, I was going on the Gmail and it kept telling me, no, you can't, no, you can't. We already have this account on here. So it just kept getting me mad and I click off. And then the other day I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. When you go under StreamYard and you wanted to go add another channel, when you start a new channel, first of all, through YouTube, it, you have to have a nickname. So it's under your Google account. So I remember I had a nickname that I called my channel. So I had like two or three of them there. One was for Afterwards for Life. One was for this. And then I started another channel a while back that I never did anything with. So I didn't know which one was which. And I think I clicked on the right one, and that's when they allowed me to go on here. So it was just a stupid thing that I couldn't figure out for so long, and I finally did. So that is what it is. Well, I got to talk to you about that when she gets done talking to you. What's up, Trisha? 
I didn't know she said she was just going to charge you $5 for that. I'll, yeah. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Tina I'll said, Tina said you. if you boil a banana in about one and a half cups of water for about five minutes, it'll do the same as melatonin. Oh, I didn't know that. That's Have cool. a turkey dinner. Have a what? Turkey dinner. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the, uh, <laughs> what's in it? That's the uh, tryptophan, whatever. I got you. I got you. I got you. That yeah. stuff, though. I take it and it'll work good. I'll go to sleep one night, but then if I take it the next night, it don't work. Yeah, I have weird. to have a and then it works. Yeah, that's strange. I think I'm kind of the same way. I think that's the problem with me. So I like my sleep and especially I need it. You know, so I, I just I went back to doing the PMs and they they work. They knocked me out. Don't get me wrong. I mean I'm I'm shoving a lot of shit into my mouth before I go to sleep. I mean between my my extended oxycontin now and the regular oxy and the fucking senna which is the laxative i have to take that and the sleep and medicine it's just like endless you know it's just i wish it was something else i didn't have to you know i, I hate fucking taking all these meds man it sucks peel and oh oh really the peel and everything so maybe it's something actually in the banana peel itself that is uh makes you get a little trippy to fall asleep i don't know I know they said back in the day, right? It wasn't in the 70s or something that when you went to get high, you were able to smoke banana peel or something? Is that yeah, true, Billy? They, they, yeah, yeah. They, you can eat it, too. You can eat the uh, orange peel. Is there orange peel. It's Not orange, orange peel. peel. I'm talking about banana peel. Good, Billy. I just <laughs> getting high off a of banana fucking peel. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I heard about that. I don't know how true it is. I don't know. No. <laughs> <sighs> I never, I never tried it. Imagine like sticking, day, sticking a banana back peel in your fucking day. bong. Back in the day, did offshore. she just say she was going to charge you five dollars? No. When we were long lining, right we'd now. bring this little sponge mm -hmm. up, and it'd be called spongy lungy. And you always tell new people you could smoke that and get hot. I got it. Wait, we got to wait for this. Pay for something that they, they did not. No, because it went to the wrong freaking address. Oh my god. Listen, I'm going to mute you, D man. You guys want to talk, man? You got to mute yourself. No, this, one, this one's going to come in sooner yeah. later. Why does you keep? Why do you keep on muting it, bro? I, I just muted. Mute, mute it again, please. Thank you. All right, go ahead, Billy. The floor is yours, man. It's just a story about about when we were fishing offshore that we used to catch this little red sponge all the time, and uh, it was it was called spongy wungy, and we tell new people that was on the boat you could smoke that and get high, and some some of the people were taking it home with them. Really. I can imagine. Spongy wungy. <sighs> That's funny. Where's everyone Where from? We thought it was funny too. Hi, Gerald. Hi. I said hi before, but you were walking by. You in a, you in a better mood today? <laughs> you. Know, I tried to say I tried saying hi to you yesterday, and you were like hi. Oh. <laughs> I didn't wake you up. I didn't wake you up. He did. No, Tina, he did. I woke her up. Tina, look she at this new flavor. Tina, she was mad at me. Look at the new flavor I found. Yeah, thirty gram. Uh, in short, creamy peach. Every morning. I found she it yesterday. It was a new one. Uh, cord silk. That that'll yeah, mess with your head too. Well, I never heard of that. Like the silk on the what? The, the what you peel off the outside of a corn cob, like the corn that silk. Is that what you're talking about? Peach. Where's everyone from? I'm from New Jersey, Mary. Gig is from Florida. D-Man is from the great old state of Texas. <clears throat> and... Zuki out of the dog's eye. <laughs> eye boogers? Eye boogers. Blue Ridge Mountains, North Carolina. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful place on earth to live. That's where I want to wind up one day. That's where exactly where I want. Yeah, the Blue Ridge Mountains. Beautiful, beautiful, man. Ooh, I've heard so much about the Blue Ridge Mountains, man. Yep. Gorgeous up there, man. That's where That's I want to wind up one on day. I want to go see, dude. Because I've heard about it so many times, you know? <laughs> yep. Uh, where am I? Zigzag is what is that? Alabama, A L Alabama, P 
PA south of Pittsburgh is Mary. Yep. Did it a couple times back in the day. Oh, okay. The soak from the bananas. I mean, from the corn. Back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, Tina. Smoking up them friggin' corn silk. Corn silk. I'll That's go grow me some corn and come up and get some money. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Imagine that? Selling fucking eights on the corner. What is that? Is it marijuana, sir? No, it's not. It's corn silk, officer. <laughs> Perfectly legal. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and you can laugh to me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go yeah. test this, sir. Oh. Right? Go ahead. <laughs> Let us uh, know how it is, man. Right? That's funny. Oh man. All right, what did Mary? What is that? What she send me here? I can see you and hear you. Oh, that was the old uh I think the old life. That's crazy. D man. Yeah. Front and center, brother. I need you. You are a uh, YouTube master sometimes. What's up? Uh, which is an oxymoron in itself because you should be a master all the time. Anyhow, <laughs> why is it when I go live through YouTube, I went on my phone when I hit live? All right, so I was live on my laptop. Looked at it on my phone. I can see myself. I'm, I'm, I'm live on my laptop from YouTube earlier. I don't see myself on my screen, <laughs> on my laptop screen. On your laptop screen? Yep. Now you guys can see me, so the camera's working. Why it didn't show on YouTube? It happened yesterday too, two times. I don't know, dude. I honestly I, don't know. But what I but when I looked from my phone, like I went onto my channel and looked, and even Billy was there too. He said, "I see you. You were able to see me." Hey, Why Karen, I couldn't? Honestly, to see me, to, yard, that dude. might be just your phone doing that, not your laptop. That might be your phone. Okay. No, it wouldn't be my phone. Hold on. Let me put Billy on uh, full size. Because if, you... if other people saw you, if other people saw you that were in your chat, uh -huh. and you couldn't see you on your other phone, to me, that I think that's your phone doing that, not allowing you your, your uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't make sense because I was going live from my laptop. So uh, what am I looking that... at, Billy? Hold on. There's a blue heron back there, but he don't want to come out from hiding. Oh, blue heron. Yeah, not the um. Is, is that it right there? What is that? What is that in the uh? I see another. Is there another bird there? Yeah, or is that a statue? Aaron. Yeah, is that him right that's there next that. next to the fountain or whatever that is? Yeah, that's a bird bird bath. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Blue herons are awesome, man. Oh, he. What he kind of birds right are they? A blue heron. Yeah, he eats out of my hand. Oh, that's the cool. Bud files. What's up, the bud files? Where's Bug Files? Oh, there it is. What's yeah. up, Bug Files? What's going on? Um, Do they yeah. always sit right outside the window? Um, sometimes, they're on roof. sometimes they're on the next door neighbor's roof. Sometimes they disappear for a while. Yeah, I, always... I heard about that last night, Mary, about that bridge collapsing in Baltimore. Oh, I didn't hear about that. What happened? Yeah, oh, bridge it, dude, it was it was late last night, like right at, right in the middle of my stream. Mm -hmm. That uh, 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 breaking news came, and they said the uh, a bridge collapsed in Baltimore last night. Oh wow! Were there people? Were there cars on it? There was a couple uh, cars I, on it. It didn't say nothing news. about no cars on it. Seven he people missing. Wow, that's crazy. Reminded me of the Skyway when it fell down here. That's that's I scary shit. Right there. That, yeah, it's crazy for sure. Uh, where's the bud files? How come I don't see the bud files in my in my chat? I see him. There, there he's no. I'm on my phone now. I'm no. I want to make a moderator. He, he said good morning, people. I got it. I got it. I didn't see it at first because I didn't see the um, when you're not blue. It's hard to find you when you're not blue. <laughs> I wanted to make a bud files a moderator. All right, cool. Whatever happened to Becca? She's like, I'll be right back. They come up in the app. Talk about friggin' odd bucks. <laughs> she never came back. She never came back. I don't know what happened. Oh man, that coffee is not so bad with the uh, no milk. In it. Hey, dude, I found uh, another place I can get some um, diamond art paintings, man. I did not know Hobby Lobby has diamond art paintings, bro. Well, it kind of sounds like a place that Hobby would have Lobby. it. You know, sounds like a place that would have it. It's a hobby. Dude, I was like 
I only thought that you could get them online. And, and then somebody told me last night in my chat that Hobby Lobby has them. Funny cool. thing is, and the craziest thing is, Gerald, a yeah. lady from Hobby Lobby came into the store last night. Somebody that worked at Hobby Lobby came in the store last night, so I asked her. She said they have a bunch of them, a bunch of them at Hobby Lobby. Okay. What did Tina say? They're live now showing the cargo ship. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, the cargo ship. Yeah, that's the the bridge, right? It collapses. Is that what she's talking about? Yeah, that's the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, the bridge. Pretty good video of it hitting the bridge. You could see the concrete shatter. Who's echoing? Somebody's echoing. Who's echoing? Somebody's echoing. Hey, man. I think it might be you. How hey, the what hell is it me? me all the time? I got you, though. Because it's always you. I don't know. That's why I said it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I said, hold on. Let me put my um, mic in. Where did it go? You don't have volume up on the other device, do you, Billy? No. See, now I don't hear it because he, he, he uh, muted himself. Oh, I know. I, I've been on a few lives. I know. I, I read. I read chat and stay on my phone. I read chat off the of cast. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see anything. The only news that's on right now is uh, Fox Five, and I don't see it on Fox. It's just sitting there. No, I know, but it's just not. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Actually, no. What was it NBC? Hold on. News for New York at 11 a.m. No, I'm not seeing anything in the Allegra commercial. All right. I'll see. Maybe it'll come back on. Uh, Scott Key Bridge. Uh, I don't know. Was that the name of it, Billy? Scott Key Bridge. Tina's asking. Um, who? Who is? Who? Who did the um, a national anthem? Who wrote the national anthem? That's who. That's who the name the bridge. Yeah, after, Scott. Right. Was it uh, George George C. Scott or something like that? Is that the name? No. No. The, it's from the man who who, who wrote the, the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm probably should probably should know that. <laughs> Think he had a potty. Francis Scott Key. That's it. That's it. Yep. Yeah. All right, team man. I saw you. You just took yourself off. But yeah, fix your audio and come back up, bro. If you want, I'll be here for a minute. I'm not going anywhere yet. Ooh. I just happen to, I don't know what this is. I like my weird side of like, if you click over the left on my phone, it comes up different shit on here. Billy, look. No, I can't. Hold on. I just hit something. I don't want to lose it right there. Like you just go to web and it shows you all different articles. Look at that one. Yeah, I've got the new, I've got the cable on here. I'm trying to find a live feed of it, but I can't find it. I'm just saying that sounds good. It's on YouTube. Barbecue Pit Boys. Pepper, pork, bacon, butter burger. <laughs> That sounds good. Oh, you know what I did remember to buy yesterday, Billy? Was pickles. pickles. Finally. <laughs> finally. I finally remembered to get my goddamn pickles. Yeah, because I have the fish. And I'm like, I don't like doing mayo and relish, which is usually what you'll do to make like tartar sauce. I'd rather take, I like taking, you know, dill pickles, cut them up myself. I make a little bit bigger, like a little, a little more coarse. Um, I mean, not smaller. I make them a little bit bigger chunks. And I add a little bit of like sriracha in there and make it like a spicy remoulade almost. Very, very good. Spicy tartar sauce. Sorry. I always say remoulade because I'm a fucking fancy chef. <laughs> I think the only thing that makes the difference of making the remoulade is you put in uh, capers. I don't know. It could be right. could be wrong. Yeah. They had it. They're going to show it here in a second. Yeah, I see. I don't know. It's not on. I'm having NBC and they're not showing it. Abortion, talking about abortion. I don't know. So medicine. Said, failure. Hmm. We'll see. It'll be on here in a second. But yeah, it's it it, it, uh, it hit that bridge, and then when it hit that bridge, it looked like it was water, but it wasn't. That was concrete shearing off that bridge. Wow. Yeah, hit it. He, he hit it. That's crazy, man. I want to see it, man. Shit. You'll see it here in one second. I'm going to have it coming up, and I'll put it up there for you. Uh, I don't know if you can. I might get a fucking... Don't do it, because you might get, I might get copyright for that. Half, yeah. my, half my videos are copyrighted. Don't worry about it. No, I know. I just don't want to get copyright. I had one before, fucking long time ago. I finally got it Got it gone. If you get two of them, they can... can they, not, not that they can. If you get two copyrights, they will take your channel away. And I don't two? Want to 
Yeah, I, I've got two. I've got more than two. Yeah, but if you don't, if you don't monetize them, that's the difference. Oh, I, got see, I got, it. I got. You. See I got now, it. the thing is, I, I, I don't think I can even. I don't monetize my content, but if anybody was to leave me like a super chat or anything like that, I think I would lose it if they took the video away. Yeah. Because I'm not full monetization yet. Once I hit a thousand, then I can do full monetization. <coughs> and put ads yeah, on my it. videos. All right, welcome back, Pop. Went down like a tinker toy. It sure did. Yeah. Did you see that, Dad? That uh where was it at, guys? In what Baltimore. state? Baltimore, Dad. Did you see that uh bridge that went down? And you know what? Let me see if I can. I don't think I can mod myself. I don't think I can. We were talking about it yesterday. I got to do it from YouTube. Hold on, let me see. Let me pull it up. Where did D-Man go? I don't know. He's having a problem with audio, so I'm not sure. No clue. He said he'll be back. My new uh, he has a day. What happened? Home. My new tobacco will be in the mail. I'm waiting for the mail, oh, good. man. I'm listening to my uh, my cognac good. tobacco. Tastes like cognac. Cool. You shit around here. Put it in a machine and Hope it, you like it. it ain't working. Oh, we had it before. It's from Louisiana. Yeah. Like I said, try that American Club Classic. It's uh, probably about the same price that you're paying. It's on Amazon. I, think, I think, have... you think you can get it on Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it costs, oh, can... it costs to get that. It's $16 for a pound, but it's like $8 to get it here. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. When I was getting it in the store, uh, I had a, sm a smoke shop that opened up down a block from me where I was living before, and my dad would bring me there. It's, it would be like nineteen, twenty dollars. And then on Amazon, it was tw well, I wasn't even from Amazon. I was ordered from this tobacco company. I think it was in upstate New York, I believe it was upstate New York. And I buy two bags at a time. And I think they were twelve ninety nine a bag, but the shipping was eight ninety nine. So it was basically the same freaking price at the end of the day. So you know, I didn't have to wait five days. You know, my dad was like, "Fuck it, I'll just take you to the store." You know. <laughs> I can't find okay, the own so, here. Okay, there so what is. happened was, so what happened with the bridge was, it was uh, there were there were workers on the bridge. They're saying there were workers up on the bridge. Yeah. There, when the when the tr tanker hit into it, there were cars that plunged into the water. There were cars that plunged into water in the, into the water. This yeah, is from like, NBC News. Though. It so said it's seven people. NBC yeah. News. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't say a number on here. It doesn't say a number on here. So. Oh, uh, Billy said seven people were missing. He said he saw that. It says the unknown number of workers were on the bridge at the time of the crash. And the emergency responder said they were looking for looking for at least seven people. Yeah, so at least at least seven people, Gerald. At least. That's crazy. You're a little staticky, so but you're all right. It's tolerable. I think it's um. I think there's probably more, but are you getting that static too, Billy? You hearing that? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, not, I think not it's man. I think it's just his headphones. I mean, sometimes a connection, you know, where your headphones go into your phone or whatever. Where is your mic on the cord? No, mine's on the Bluetooth. Oh shit! You can use those on here. Yeah. I, oh, I, damn! Yeah. I didn't know that. I got them. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. I don't think I can do it now, but I'm live. I probably have to do it next time to set up the uh, go under settings. But hold on a second. Oh shit! I'm gonna fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Yeah, I guess. But I was my, well where I work. So I'm not, I don't know when I'm going back, but I had him in a giraffe, and he goes, "I'm like, can I have those, Bill?" He's like, "Yeah." They're the fucking uh, most expensive ones out there, too, man. Fucking. My sister gave me a nice new pair. I got a nice new pair also. I listen Air to them while I'm shooting. Yeah, AirPods. So I, I, what I do is I, I just, uh, I haven't been, uh, which I, I wish I knew that, man. Shit, I, I, I could wear them on here, but I'd have to, I'd have to do the, the settings first. There she is. All right, I hit it. All right, bring her up. Hey, Sal, Madam Sunshine. Happy Hello. Tuesday. Hello. Hi, Becca. Hey, Becca. Hey. Hey, happy Tuesday. How are you? Hey, Becca, are you there or no? 
Say hi. Can you hear me? I can be. I hear you now. Well, Trish is talking. Hi, hi, doggy. <laughs> but I hear you, back. How are you? How are you? <laughs> how you? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing I don't, right. I don't care how you doing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's, I know. Oh, my dad you said know. that they saved they saved four people so far. He read. What happened? Uh, bridge in where is it again? Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore. Yeah, I can't remember. Baltimore, shit, Maryland. Baltimore. A bridge collapsed. A uh, <gasps> cargo ship hit it. A cargo ship. Somebody a cargo said their ship. house yeah. shook. Somebody said their house shook when that happened. Uh, Mission for Clement. Wow, that's crazy. Who do we have up here? I can't oh, even see. Uh, D Man and Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Giga Bill. Giga Billy. Giga Billy. How are you today? Uh, oh, dream, that's yeah. Giga Billy. Okay, I could put a face with the name now. I could put a face with the name now. Okay, good. <laughs> Stay woke, D Man. Stay woke. Two weeks now. He finally got He got it. <laughs> How you doing, D Man? I'm good, bro. I'm not, I'm good, man. Yeah, just I wasn't asking. Trying to do doing? some more time on him. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Uh, he goes, Who? What? Huh? <laughs> it's a saying here. I wasn't it's a saying here. That. Jersey, New York oh. thing. It's when we say, How you doing? We're not really asking how you doing. It's more of like a formality. It's a formality. Care. Yeah, we don't really care. We're just asking how you doing. <laughs> It's, it's true. Freezing here today. I feel like a piece of shit. Is it? Is it? Did it snow there? Or no? It's, is it snow really? Is wicked cold. Wicked cold, huh? Wow. Yes. What the hell? <laughs> I don't even know how it is here. I haven't been out since yesterday. Said that. <laughs> so do I. So do I. Nice seventy-five, but it's blowing about oh, twenty-five shit. to thirty. Wow. Yeah, blowing my yeah. Uh, lawn furniture over. That wind sucks for sure. Yeah. Hey, Gracie. How are you, Gracie? Oh, I can't see the chat. Hold on one second. Say goodnight, Gracie. Say goodnight, John boy. Hi, Zigzag. <laughs> That's what I think of when I, when I see the word Gracie. Um, Krot Kramer. Did I say that right? Krot what? Kramer? What is that? Hi. There's someone in there that said hello to me. Tina. Who? Tina Krot Kramer. Oh, oh, Tina. Yeah, we just, we just call her Tina. Yeah. Hi, 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 Tina. Right. Easier that way. Yes. I'm good, wrong, Gracie. I'm oh. I hope you're good, Gracie. Good for, for coming in. Look at that top top thing on the news, man. Right there, Baltimore Bridge. Wow, well, see. Wow, mm -hmm. the images I'm seeing of this crazy. I'm not even. Wow. I'm not even gonna look. It'll bother me all day. Yeah, I don't want to see it right now either. I'll yeah. check it out later. This looks like a boat to move. Wow, look at that. Hold on for a second. Ireland governor says the ship's mayday call enabled officials to limit traffic on the bridge before crash. Wow. That's a good thing, though. That's a good yeah. thing. That's a yeah. good thing. Kudos to them. That they had yeah, kudos to them for sure. For knowing and knowing about it before it happened and freaking mm -hmm. getting people off of that uh, off of that bridge, for sure. Yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, that's their job. Yeah. That right there yeah. is telling me that that boat was in trouble without no motor. Yeah. If they yeah. called, that that boat had no. Yeah, motor I was thinking either. the same thing. Yeah, because if if, you know, if it had to be a motor uh, issue, because otherwise it wouldn't be able to stop, right? Yeah. They, oh, no, they you ain't stop. They take three ship lengths to stop that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And plus, that when it's coming in out of the harbor, there's a pilot on there. There's the captain of the ship doesn't drive the boat when it's in the harbor. There's a pilot that gets on the boat and off the boat. Really, I did not know that. Well, wow. harbor pilot. That bridge was that bridge was built in 1977. That was a wicked good year. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Wicked good. <laughs> wicked good year. Bro, the bridge is 85, the bridge was 8,500 feet over a mile long. Just the bridge by itself was over a mile long. Wow. I'm not a fan of any bridges, actually. Yeah, I don't, I don't like bridges too much either. Mm -mm. We have a lot of them here. So. Mm. Tina, it's okay. I'm, I probably wrecked the name. 
but it's nothing wrong with a good German name, darling. Krupp Kramer. Yeah. It's like sauerkraut. <laughs> right. All right, sound good blend, right? Name. Tina, and then you got sauerkraut, and then coffee creamer. Uh. So you got <laughs> kraut creamer. Very simple. I probably said it so wrong. <laughs> Thank yeah. God it was one thirty in the morning. Yeah, you got that right, Dad. Yep. Yeah, I thought it Yeah, one thirty is one sir. Yeah, thank God it was that early. Could you could you imagine if it was five hours later when it traffic was coming over to go to work? That's crazy. I'm gonna ask because I don't know, because I'm not gonna look. Did something happen to it? Or did it did it collapse? I know what happened, I'm sorry, but did it collapse? Yeah. A barge? Oh good lord. The cargo ship hit it. Yes, it. Uh, oh yeah, a cargo ship hit it. A barge, a barge hit it. No barge, cargo ship. Cargo ship. So cargo. Big difference. Yeah. The thing with all of the trailers on it, all the. the aren't truck barges? Too? Yeah, but aren't, 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 isn't that a barge too, or is it different? It's different. No. A barge is what? Three times the size of a cargo ship, if not more. No, was, a barge, a barge, a barge is pushed or pulled by a tugboat. Right, but aren't they oh, bigger right, than a cargo yeah. ship? They're usually not. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Okay. So, yeah. I love to see the little boats pushing them. The tugboats. The little tugboats. Yeah, you would think something so small cannot pull something so freaking humongous. They're powerful little things. They're wicked cute. Yeah, the cute. propellers are as big as a house on them tugboats. Yep. Huh. And they're wicked cute, too. They're wicked cute. Wicked powerful. Wicked strong. <laughs> wicked, wicked. Wicked, wicked. You're wicked, <laughs> wicked. <laughs> wicked, wicked. Wicked, 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 wicked. Wow. Be. Gerald, I can be wicked, wicked. Yes, I can. <laughs> I'm sure you could be. And I mean this the utmost respect. You're a woman. So I'm po <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs> Uh, not a whole heck of a oh, lot. I just wing it. I hope Dang. my mom ain't listening to this one. <laughs> You're gonna get a few, Gerald. You're gonna get Woo! a few across the room. You wonder why I go home with diarrhea the next time I go over to eat dinner. <laughs> Remember what you said, you little fuck. Remember that? Yeah, I was listening in. I was listening in, you little, <laughs> you little bastard. You little bastard. Imagine that. That's funny. You're gonna get a shoe right across the dinner table. Right? How's your pasta? We call that a shapata. Yeah, like that, right, Becca? Like you're eating like this. I got your, yep. your plate in front of you. Well, I could just yep. eat in. Yeah, how's your pasta? You just get hit yep. the side of the head with a shoe. Yep, and then you just better continue eating that gravy. You, you little you shit. Don't say anything, word. you little fuck you, you little bastard. Don't say nothing. I, I heard you. I heard you. <laughs> my mom doesn't talk like that. She doesn't. But my <laughs> buddy's mom who passed away, that's how she talked. Yeah. That's how my buddy's mom passed. She passed away, but that's how she talked. You little fuck. You little yeah. bastard. Get over here, you little son of a bitch. That's what she's just like. Get over here. That meatball come flying right out of your mouth mid-dinner. A meatball. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, say it again, when you I little live... bastard. You get the other shoe. <laughs> I live on the mono... I, I'm going to butcher it out with Mary. Mono... Monogahila? Monica Gila River. You can say that, but you can't say Kraut Creamer. What the hell's wrong with you? I can't say Kraut Creamer. Kraut Creamer. Kraut. Well, you can say Mana Mana. Well, you can say Monica La Haleha River. What? I'm usually good with that, but I can't pronounce that. Billy, how do you say that? Billy, Monica Gila. Monica Gila. River. Monica Gila River. No, that's not right either. Break it down. I do. Break that's how down. I read Ma things. I break it down. Mano. I sound and blend. Mana. Mano. Unga. Mano. Unga. Hella. Mano. Unga. Hella. River. Mananga. Hella. Mananga. Hella. Perfect. Mananga. Hella. River. I got it. Mananga. Hella. Am I right, Mary? Bruce? Mananga. Hella. River. <laughs> Cold bird barges all day and night. I got it. Got it, Miss Kraut Creamer. Okay. Mon Mon uh, Mongolian, Mongolian Hello River. Curtis. 
Mon, all right, here you go. Mon- she broke it down. Mon Angahela. I was right. Look at that. I'm a fucking genius. Mon- <laughs> Ask who to say that. That's my dad. See? Ask her to say Starbucks. Go ahead. Uh, actually, Becca. I just pulled up. I just pulled up. Where'd you pull up to? Where? Where are you at? Starbucks. You got Starbucks? Starbucks. She said Starbucks. <laughs> no, she didn't. Yeah. She didn't say Starbucks. No, she didn't, Dina. <laughs> she said Star- Starbucks. S T A H. Star. 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 Yes. We don't pronounce our as. <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah. Just like coffee. us here, we don't say coffee. We don't have the ah like like you do the like West Coast people. They talk with the ah like water and talk. I talk like this when I talk about water. That doesn't you sound right. Like I I talk about water. To pronounce my that, that letter. <laughs> that was good, Mary. Mary said hooked on phonics worked for me. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Don't be making fun of my Oz pops. Oh, Kraut Kramer. See? There Kraut you go. Kramer. I was wrong. It's not Kramer. No. It's Kramer. Kraut Kramer. Got it. <laughs> Good I'm job. Gonna, I'm going to now go get a coffee in Starbucks. With there Kramer. you go. With Kramer. <laughs> coffee. Coffee. My friend. You remember? I was going to say D-Man. You remember Nikki. Of course you remember Nikki. Nikki Pink. Oh, she no, was, Nikki, yeah. Nikki Pink. I like that name. Yeah, she used to always make fun of me for saying coffee. <laughs> okay. you, know she, go, you know she's still on YouTube, right? Yeah. yeah. She does Timu stuff, and she just did some tickets the other day, last week. No way. She really did. I, I haven't been getting a notification. She did, uh, I don't know, about $100 worth of tickets last week. Yeah. From what state do you? From Texas, I believe. Yeah. yeah you know she doesn't live here in Texas. Right, she don't live here in Texas anymore. I don't. Yes, yes, she, she moved back to Texas. Last thing I heard. Oh, did she? That's okay, a, that's I, what I, I know. She was living with that dude I, wherever they moved, and I think she moved back to Texas with him. I think yeah, I don't know. I didn't ask too many questions. I don't know. Oh no 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 no! I I, but I know she lived in Arizona for a while too. She lives in Arizona. Yeah, I know that, but no, I think she moved back to Texas from since then. That was over a year or so ago. Oh shit! A couple of years now. We'll never would. Coffee. Never would what, Dad? He said never would. Becca, get me a uh, chai tea, please. <laughs> Don't you guys be saying stuff while I'm trying to order. I'll be all fuddled. Oh, I'm gonna be wi- I'm gonna be wicked rude while you're in there. Mm-mm. Give me frappuccino, coco moco, loca, with a, a little bit of white <laughs> stuff on top. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you want you want. <laughs> he said coco moco moco loco. <laughs> That's like something you might order in, in Hawaii. Uh, hooked on phonics works for me. It didn't work for me. Uh, I gotta go to CVS, man. I don't feel like going, but I dad say he can go for me, but I think I want to get out. I gotta, I gotta get some of that PMs, and I need, I need a box of tissues. I know that sounds really fucking weird, but I need a box of tissues. Oh, I'll make fun of her. Nah, she knows that. Oh, she knows we're all messing around. Huh? Huh? Becca, Becca. Person is at Starbucks. What's up? Here? So go out and get some air and some sunshine. Yeah, I got my sunshine right there, but. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I get a lot of it. I'll believe it or not. I get a lot of it. I mean, it's nothing like the actual vitamin D that you get when you're out in the sun, but I get 11. MCGs, sixty percent of your daily value. In the. Can I have that with extra cream? No, give me a give me a coffee. Get me a coffee. What extra Tina creamer? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. There is something wrong with me for sure. <laughs> it's nice to see you. It's wicked awesome to see you too. It's wicked awesome. You don't say that to the people, Becca. No, it's wicked favorite, nice to my, see you. My, no, my favorite, my favorite person's here. Oh, wow. it's overcast and it's going to rain later this afternoon. I hear you. All right, Tignac. Who um? 
Who dropped off? Yeah. Oh, no. No, my favorite person, Jacob. Not oh, okay. Be very nice to him, then. Somebody keeps muting their mic. I don't know. It must be Sunshine. She doesn't want me to embarrass her in front of her friend. <laughs> Jerry, I'm going to hop off here and go do a few things. Mavami. You got it, man. Have a good day, Billy. I appreciate you. Look for me later. I'll probably be live later on. I will. D man, we see you. And I'm very excited to see you. She's on mute. Yeah, I'm not going to be out here much longer either. A little before 12, I'm going to get off because I want to get ready and uh, go out to the store. And okay, so when you go, when you get off, bro, I'll just, I'll just jump live here when you go off. All right. I saw that you, um, I saw you were on. I just wanted to come up, man, chill with you for a little bit till you got off, and I'll oh, jump on. I appreciate. It. Yeah, I'm everybody jump down there. Yeah. Yeah, you could jump down I'm too, bro. Jump that. in the chat. All right. Yeah, jump down in the chat, and I'm going to end this anyway in about 10 minutes. So. All right, brother. All right. All right, brother. I right, appreciate let me go it. Set up my live anyway. I'm gonna go set up my live anyway, so I won't go live until like 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, sounds, good, good. sounds good, man. Sounds good. I appreciate it, man. Bye. Thanks, bro. You got it. Later. Right. You got it. Yeah, I'm not leaving just yet, Mary. In about 10, 15 minutes, honey. But uh, yeah, I really like these uh doing these pipe streams. They're fun. Uh, I hopped off for a bit. That's cool, Madam Sunshine. Just uh, you don't have to come back up. I'm gonna end this anyway in about ten minutes. I gotta uh, get ready and take a ride with my dad to. Um, I gotta go to CBS, pick up a script, and then uh, I'll be back later on. Though, come check us out later on. Back around uh, three thirty, I'll probably go live again for about an hour and a half. That's so everybody just jumped down from the panel. So yeah, yeah, stay for a minute if you want, Mary. I'm not gonna jump off just yet. I got like I said, I got to run to this to the CBS with my father. Uh, I might actually grab a. Um, I think I'm gonna get one, one bingo, one five dollar bingo. I haven't uh, got it, Billy. I'll see you later, man. Later, later, cat. I'll see you guys later on. Appreciate you. Excuse me. Wow. Have a good day, Zigzag. Yep. Thank you for coming. I'll see you maybe later. I'll jump in. All right, cool deal. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'll be on, like I said, probably 3.30 to around 5, a little after 5. I've been doing like hour and a half streams. It's just about perfect, to be honest. It can't even realize this is an hour and a half already. It went by, you know, you have good conversation with people. It's great. It says seven. Yeah, I still see seven people. Yeah, me too, Dan, yeah. But when I end this, that I'm going to be about probably about 20 minutes, half hour. I'm just going to um, get ready, and then I'll uh, I'll text you. I'll let you know, or I'll call you, whatever, either one. I'll let you know when I'm ready. I'll take a ride to CVS, and I'll go pick up uh, that amlodipine. And I got to get PMs. Don't let me forget. I got to get PMs. Or I can start taking the melatonin gummies again. I don't know. I just found them. I had them in the box. I just found them now. But that's only about. I take two a night. I don't know. It's probably like two weeks worth, maybe. Sorry, I missed yesterday's sinus headache had me sick. That's all right, Tina. It's all good. I understand. As long as you're feeling better, that's good. So I still got nine people. Yeah, I'll tell you what. These paddle streams are good, man. The, uh, you know, I'm not sitting here expecting 50 people. It's not going to happen. But, you know, if I get 14, 12, 10... You know, good friends that are here want to chill. That's awesome. But I didn't know that I could wear the. Uh, I got to set this up through the laptop. I got to figure out how to do that. I didn't know I could use the cordless ones. That's even way better. Cause I hate wearing these. I mean, these are good when I listen to music. They're very, very good headphones. But these are even better. They're just so much louder, and uh, you don't have all this hanging and being uncomfortable. And I could just wear one. I could wear one like it, just one of these in my right ear, and I could hear everybody. From it. You can't hear anything else with these on. It's just it's impossible. I could take them off now, though, actually. I need the antenna here so you guys hear me. That's, it. That's all I need. Oh, good. You got to have them on, though, when you're... Uh, I mean, you don't. Billy doesn't wear headphones. I mean, you technically don't have to, but I think that the host has to. Otherwise, you're going to get reverb. So that's why we usually wear them on the stream yard. So you can hear... First of all, you wear them because you can hear each other. You know, that's the main reason why you wear them because you can hear, you know, you guys hear them, you know, hear us talking. But for us, when you when you hear the with the headphones on, you hear each other better. 
if that makes sense. Yeah. Allergies drive me crazy. I bet. I don't get them anymore. I had them once. About eight, nine years ago. And I haven't bothered me since, thank God. <coughs> yeah, but I don't want to be out long. I, uh, I'm, I'm nervous from yesterday. But I'm just glad I feel better than I did yesterday. Yesterday was, that was a rough day, man. That was crazy. Just glad I didn't wind up in the hospital, man. That would have sucked. Is that I would have been there minimum four days. I know how they work. Minimum of four days that keep you. It sucks. I'm very, very fortunate that uh, I do feel a little bit better today. And then I go Friday for the tests. And, uh, then we go back for treatment the following Friday. And then I go for my pain and palliative, I think, the following week, I believe. I don't know if she's supposed to get in touch with me, but... I need to, I should have done that yesterday. Dang it. When I was there, Dad, that's what I should have done. I'm a weeble wobble, but I fall down. <laughs> have you eaten anything today? Yeah, I ate breakfast before I finished up the, I actually bought, I bought two packs of these blackberries yesterday, and I ate one of them between yesterday and today. I ate, I ate a bunch with dinner last night, and then I had a, as a snack, and then I ate the rest of them this morning, and I had a uh, Taylor ham and cheese with uh Salt, pepper, and mustard, believe it or not. No egg. because I forgot to get eggs, too. They were too expensive in the supermarket. You got to stop at the other spot. But um, maybe Friday, after my test, we'll, we'll go to the other spot. Aldi's, get eggs. They're really like two fifteen. there, my dad said. Cheap. Uh, I had coffee, and I had my Insure. This is a new one, too. I don't know if you saw that, Mary. There's a new, new flavor. I was showing Tina. Creamy peach. Very, very good. I tell you, not as good as the... Um, what the heck's the other one? Shit. I can't think already now. All these new flavors. Not French vanilla, because I had that one. The other one. I got it. It's in the other room. In the other room, in the refrigerator. Oh, help me out, Tina. What was the other one? Scared the I, You know what? Scared the shit out of me, too, pup. Really scared me. I'm going to tell you what. If that ever happens to me uh, again... Two uh, two five for the eggs. Yeah, cherry cheesecake. That's it. Yeah, Tina. Thanks. Yeah, those are good. But yeah, I had a good breakfast today. I'm happy. I had my I bought my Taylor ham yesterday. So that's my I eat that every morning. Every morning. I don't like doing bacon. If I have eggs, I'll do Taylor ham egg and cheese. Uh, I didn't get bagels. I wanted to get bagels, but they were down that last aisle when I was feeling like shit. I just grabbed my ice cream, my Taylor ham and cheese, and I was out of there. Yeah, it was scary, man, but I'm just glad I feel better. Like I said, it's just it's not so. Makes no sense. They can't figure out why it happens, but I just think it's part of me being sick and part of this crazy disease, but that's why today I just want to go run into CVS, get my stuff, boom, get out of there, and uh, come back home. Yeah, 205 a dozen. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, man. They were under that. They were what, one ninety something there for a while, one ninety nine or something like that. I remember they were they were under two bucks. The freaking cheapest I saw yesterday at Shoprite for a dozen eggs were three ninety nine. I think. I'm like, I'm not spending on eggs, man. I'm not because I believe it or not, I don't eat eggs all that much. I mean, I like them, you know, once in a blue moon, but the necessities and out. Yeah, exactly, Tina. Yeah, in and out, bing, bang, boom. Like I said, I might go. I don't care who likes it or not, but I might go get a, uh, if I can have an ATM over there, I might, um, or if I can get change back at CVS, usually they let you, if I can get 10 bucks back, I'll get two, two bingos, because I was going to get them yesterday, but I, uh, well, that went down, I didn't feel good and stuff, so I totally forgot, and uh, we totally forgot to go to CVS, that's why I said to my dad last night when I talked to him, like, I forgot, to, we forgot to totally go to CVS, but it's understandable, you know, we were worried, wanted to get the groceries home, he helped me. Came in, hung out for a little bit. How was that pasta, Dad? They're four ninety nine. Wow, it's, it's absurd, man. I refuse to pay that kind of money for eggs. I mean, it's a bad enough that I mean, I pay six forty nine for uh, lactate, a gallon of lactate milk. But you know what? It lasts two months in the refrigerator if I don't drink it. At one time, dollar twenty five. Yeah, they were they were cheap, cheap. Yep, I do remember that. 
that was good, right? I told you, man, that sauce was good, man. The fucking ragu. I, I never thought ragu, I never used to eat any of that kind of sauce. Uh, but it was new. It said new bolognese. And there was some meat in there. It was pretty damn good. Glad you liked it. <clears throat> yeah, hang on to that container, too, man. You've given me so many through the years. I, I probably, the rest of my life, I can't give you enough containers back. <laughs> Jerry Lynn, actually, uh, my sister brought me those. Just so I have seen you know, some container, like when I make pasta like that, and I have leftovers, I have something to put them in. But, uh, time we got. 11.50. All right. Like 10 more minutes, and then we're going to jump off here, you know. Going to go, go get ready, do what I got to do, and uh, chill out. Jack the price up because Easter. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But Aldi's is just cheap. It is always eggs are always cheap there, but in the shop right in the supermarket where I'm at, it's crazy, man. Three ninety nine for a dozen eggs, eighteen pack. They used to go on sale before all this friggin' boost of the egg price. Get an eighteen pack for three dollars. You know what I mean? Now I forget about it. eighteen pack. I saw yesterday it was like seven something, almost eight dollars. Like I refuse. Two, two weeks ago, eggs were a dollar eighty nine. Yeah, see. There was plenty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Dad. It was pretty damn good, man, for a jar of sauce. I was pretty happy with it. I'd probably buy it again. If I would have remembered yesterday and I didn't feel like shit, I would have got another jar, to be honest, but I forgot. It was pretty darn good. But I don't, I don't, I don't really repetitively eat the same thing over and over anyway, so I probably, uh, the next time we go food hopping next week, you know, maybe I'll get it again. Do I have sauce? Well, I actually have some left in the jar. I have to make, uh, I, might, I might make the raviolis tonight. We'll see. See how I feel. And I'm going to make, not tonight, what's today? Tuesday? Tomorrow's a hump day? Or maybe, if I wake up early enough tomorrow morning, I'm going to make those muffins. I'll probably make the uh, corn muffins. I'll just throw them in the oven. I'll maybe have them ready for for breakfast. We'll see. Mm. They're pretty easy to make. Throw them in the oven, bake them, and that's it. It's easy. Do you like pistachio? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when Terry sent me that package, she sent me two packs of pistachios, and I uh, I finished them. Already. Well, it's been over a month. I mean, I didn't eat any of them for a while, but ragu was on sale. Buy two, get one free. There you go. But did you see the new the, the new um, flavor? Well, it was bolognese. It was called Tina. Like it's like a, and bolognese is meat sauce, but this one had a lot of like they have ones that say meat flavored. It has really no meat in it. It just tastes a little bit like meat. But this had meat in it. It was actually really freaking good, man. I mean, and the sauce was... I'm going to tell you what. Ragu makes a good good sauce, man. Jarred sauce. Not bad at all. Tastes like it was cooked all day, you know? Really, really good. <clears throat> Why do you ask? Do you have pistachio nuts there or something? I have a whole thing of peanuts, but I, I'm scared to eat them. That's why my tooth was bothering me. Mock them wood. It my, has not bothered me in a day. So for a day or two, no. Either something got stuck in there and I got it out or what. I don't know, but it hasn't been bothering me. So. What's up, James Brown? Good afternoon. Just about to get off of here, but thanks for popping in. I, too get one for you. I got some. There you go, Tina. Yeah, Check out that one at Bolognese. Really freaking good for a jar of sauce. They have jarred sauce in there for freaking $8, man. I'll have to look next time I'm in town. Yeah, check it out. It was really, really good. I have to admit. I told my dad, he's like, no, you keep it. You I was like, no, but I want you to take the rest of it. It wasn't a lot, you know, a little little bowlful, but I wanted him to try it. I told him how good it was. It was very tasty. Oh, man. <sighs> I got to remember to put those back on the charger. Good, I got your container half full of... Oh, cool. Thanks, Dan. That's cool. Yeah, I like pistachios. They're good. Yeah, you can't eat fucking just like a little handful. They're, they're addictive. Still haven't seen anything on this news about that friggin' bridge. I'm sure it'll be... I'll watch later, like 5 o'clock news. It'll 
probably be first thing on there. Or actually, news at 12 at noon. We'll have it, I'm sure. Channel, we got four. Like channel four, yeah, you have a daily, the news. Channel four, 12. I love some of the stories you talked. I made lasagna and froze it, having ham, seafood, alfredo, potato salad, rolls, strawberry cream pie, and blackberry cheesecake pie. I'll be very busy in the kitchen. There you go. I love some of the stories you talked about. Oh, cool. Yeah. I forgot to get my French bread for pizza. I bet it make a good sauce for that. Probably. Probably, Tina. Yeah. Good morning, Susan M. How are you doing? You are looking good today. I have more energy in your voice. Hope that means you are feeling better. Yeah, I feel much better than I did yesterday. Thank you. I got some good rest last night, and uh, yesterday was scary. But we're past it. I have to go back out again, though. Susan M., I got to go back. to. We didn't go at Stevie S. So we forgot to stop there yesterday. So I have to go get my blood pressure medicine. So once I get off of here, I'm going to get ready, and Pops is going to pick me up. We're going to take a ride over and get my meds. And then just come back home and chill out. Actually, maybe I'll bake. Uh, maybe I'll make the muffins today. Let's we'll see how I feel when I get back. I bought the uh, what is it? Jiffy? Is that what they're called? That I think the little blue box of uh, corn muffins, and I got banana, banana corn muffins. I think they are. So I have a little a little uh, nonstick six muffin tin pan. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. So I'll make I'll make six six muffins. I think it's enough to make six. I don't know. I don't think I have another. Not to do it in two bags, but we'll see. But thank you for coming in, Susan. It's good to see you. Have you been, have you been hitting anything good on the uh, lottery? I haven't seen anything online. Anybody saying anything that you've hit anything huge? You were on fire there for a while. Uh, yeah, I didn't get any pizzas either yesterday, Tina. Jiffy corn muffin mix. Yep, that's it. That's the one. Yep, I had them with coffee. Exactly, Dan. Yep, that's why I did it. That's why I want to make them. Yep. They're good just to have for breakfast, too, you know. Slice it in half, toast it in the toaster oven, put a little butter on it, you know. Okay. I'll probably do that and have my Taylor ham and cheese because I just, that's my daily breakfast. I don't know. It's just, I eat that every day. It's kind of like my routine since I, uh, Came off from the hospital. Just keep the weight on. He said, yes, we'll have them with coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to make them today. I'll probably make them tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so I got the corn muffin one, and then I got the one banana. I think it's banana muffin. Banana corn muffin, maybe? Or just banana muffin, I think, Tina. It was 99 cents a box. I was like, sure, I'll just buy one of each and be a good little snack. Cornbread, milk, and sugar. There you go. Small stuff. Have oh, house insurance coming up, so I'm not spending much on tickets right now. I hear you. Yeah, I, pr I probably can, Dad. You're right. They can put berries in them. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use my blackberries because those I eat. But I have some blueberries still that are. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. You know what? I might throw some blueberries in the. Um, in the corn muffins. I don't know how, I don't know if it'll change the texture though, but I think it'll be all right. I actually didn't want to make muffins at all. I wanted to make like a, uh, like in a, cause I have a eight by 10, I think it is nonstick. My sister got me when I moved in. Uh, so you can make like a, I made that other, that last one in there, the blueberry pie, blueberry bread or whatever I made last time. I only ate a little bit of that and I threw it out cause I didn't, it, it got stale. I didn't eat it wasn't that good. Like it was super dry, and I overcooked it a little bit. So I need to um, figure out the, you know, the, it's a new oven, so I got to need to figure out the temperature-wise. You know, I think I think if it tells me to bake it at 350, I'm going to do like 340 because it, it, I don't know, just burnt it last time. Not burnt it, but it was just overcooked. It was too dark. I didn't like it. Carl made them all the time. Oh, really? What, the um, blueberries in the uh, corn muffins? That actually sounds pretty good. I'll probably try that. Or I'll make it, like I said, I'll make it in the other pan. Make it like a little loaf, little bread.
You know what I really wish, guys? I really wish I wasn't sick anymore. Sick of, sick of being sick, man. But it is what it is, I guess. All right, it's 12 o'clock. I'm going to jump off of here, guys. And um, It doesn't. Here in the south, we put jalapenos and cornbread. Yeah, I've heard that before, too. That sounds pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to jump off here, y'all. All right, I'm going to get off of here and go do what I got to do, and then uh, I'll be back around 3.30, 3.30-ish, probably right around 3.30, beyond today. And uh, we'll do like an hour and a half live later, and uh, maybe a little longer or whatever, see how it goes. We'll do a panel, see how well that goes. And then uh, you too, Susan. Have a good day, my friend. I appreciate it. Thank you for being a member. I do appreciate that. Tina, have a great day. Uh, Mary Bruce, thank you. I'll catch up with you later. Absolutely. If you guys are around, come hang out. Dad, I'll uh, get to you at about, I'll call you back in about a half hour. And, uh, we'll get rock and rolling. And yeah, I appreciate everybody that came up on the panel, everybody that's uh, helping the channel. Like I said, I do appreciate the support and uh, they, especially to my members. Thank you very much. It definitely helps. Um, if you want to be a member, go on the bottom, hit that join button. Uh, it definitely helps the channel. But uh, hit the like button. That's I appreciate that more than anything else. Just one or two, you got a surprise. What do you mean? Just one or two. What are you talking about there? You said just one or two, you got a su surprise? Surprise? What? I don't know what you mean, Dad. But you have the car, right? Is that you're not talking about that, are you? Saying that makes me wait until one or two. I don't know what you meant. I'm gonna wait till you answer, and then I'm gonna jump off here. Much love, Tina. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. In the muffins? Oh, oh, like a little surprise. I got you. I got you. I got you. you did, he didn't overload it in there. You would just have like, you know, a couple inside. I got you. All right. All right. That's funny. All right, Pop. Thank you. I'll um, I'll call you in a little bit or I'll text you let you know when I'm ready. And uh, thank you very much. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And uh, catch up later on. I'll be live 3.30 this afternoon. Eastern Standard Time. So thank you very much. And uh, appreciate you. F4C out.